the Hollywood star, and former Playboy playmate, starred alongside the likes of Elvis Presley during her decades in the entertainment industry. She has also starred in films like The Nutty Professor as well as television shows like Alfred Hitchcock Presents and In the Heat of the Night. Stella's son, Andrew Stevens, confirmed the sad news as fans shared tributes and memories on social media. On Twitter, one fan declared the actress a true comedic talent while another wrote, She dazzled me in The Nutty Professor. A third shared, My first memory of her is as the sexy, courageous, wisecracking Linda in The Poseidon Adventure. The actress had endured a long battle with Alzheimer's disease and is survived by her actor-producer son Andrew, as well as her longtime friend John O'Brien. Her career had started in her hometown of Memphis when the star began modeling and was soon selected for a screen test by movie studio 20th Century Fox. Stella eventually signed a contract with Paramount before moving to Columbia, all in the same decade. Her talent was indisputable as the actress won a Golden Globe for her very first film, 1959's Say One For Me. Stella catapulted to further fame just months later as the Playboy Center fold in the January 1960 issue. The actress starred in countless 1960s and 1970s classics like Girls, 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 alongside Elvis, How to Save a Marriage, Ruin Your Life and The Courtship of Eddie's Father. Her most notable role came in the 1963 comedy The Nutty Professor with Jerry Lewis. It was later inducted into the National Film Registry in 2004, the criteria for which includes being culturally, historically or aesthetically significant. Aside from her lavish film career, Stella was also a consistent presence on television, making guest appearances in more than 40 different series. However, during the 1980s the actress reportedly started regretting her early ventures with Playboy. Don't miss, according to Deadline, the actress noted at the time that she found the label of sex symbol quite restrictive. She said, I did the best I could with the tools I had and the opportunities given me. I was a divorced mom with a toddler by the time I was 17. Playboy did as much harm as it helped. But in spite of that rough start, I did okay. Stella married her first husband, electrician noble Herman Stevens, in December 1954 when she was 16, and gave birth to their only child, Andrew, who was born six months later. Stella and Noble divorced in 1957, and while the actress would never marry again she was involved in a long-term relationship with rock star Bob Kulik. The couple were together from 1983, living in Stella's Beverly Hills home until 2016 when they sold the property and Stella moved into a long-term Alzheimer's care facility. Bob reportedly continued to visit Stella until his death in 2020. Stella is survived by her son and three grandchildren, 